What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about the new gorgeous reformulized and redesign of the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation, y'all. The packaging cannot get over that. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment down below what you think. Also, follow me on Instagram. My handle will be somewhere down on the screen below. It is the same thing for TikTok, so make sure y'all check me out over there. Y'all already know how these videos go down. I give you the specs on the foundation in the beginning of the video and then we get into applying it and at the end I will give y'all the verdict after the wear test. If you don't want to wait for all this information, you want to just skip to any part, I will have the um, timestamps down on the screen so you just scroll your mouse and you know, it'll take you to where you need to go. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. This is the Makeup Forever HD Undetectable Long Wear Foundation. It retails for 43 zoolers. It comes in 40 shades. Yes, ma'am. 40 shades. I love that the packaging is the tops are different colors when it comes to the shade family. So the light has a lighter cap, the medium light has a different color cap, the medium dark has a different color cap, and then the dark or deep or however they classify it has a different cap. So it's four different cap sizes. It is super duper cute. I'll go ahead and upload a picture now so you guys can see that. Uh, so the highlights are it is a liquid formula has a natural finish. It is waterproof mm -hmm. Long wearing it is medium coverage and it's best for oily combo or normal skin So not dry I'm assuming because that's the only kind of skin that I don't see here um, It is only available at Sephora and it is also a Undetectable liquid foundation that blurs and covers imperfection for up to 24 hours It is powered by my a micro skin system that syncs with the skin for a true true to uh, for a true to skin finish y'all know when i be reading i'm like uh um so yeah that's what it is the bottle is super duper cute i love that they redesigned it because the former bottle the former packaging was giving hair store it was plastic it was not it i never tried it so i really cannot tell you guys the difference between the two. So I can only give you my opinion on this one. And right now she is super duper cute. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the application. I'm gonna give a good few pumps. Y'all know it's fresh. Um, that looks like a really good shade, yeah? No, what do we think, what do we think? Um, I have my foundation brush. Oh, oh, because see, that's the problem with you know what? No, because the shade before this was too light, and I already knew that, so I was like, I'm just gonna have to go darker and work with that. Uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and use this. It actually looks nice after you blend it out, like, it looks really nice. I would honestly want to go a tad bit like a tad bit lighter or maybe just a little more yellow so of course i could probably add some pigment to this from my um la girl pigment but because i want to see the quality of the foundation we're not going to add anything else and it smells it smells good it's like a light slight favorite fragrance fragrance that you know smells nice um using less on this i think i did what was that two pumps i put more on this side than on that side so then you get what like a half a pump he has a pump i'm enjoying the scent i really am let me get some on the forehead okay i actually just did a full pump so I think my face took either three or four pumps. I don't know. But yeah, I like, you know, foundation. I like a lot of foundation. People be like, oh yeah, two pumps is good enough for my face. And I be like, could never. Could never be enough for me. You know, we matching, we cute. We giving melanin, we giving brown. We giving welcome to Africa. So I can still see with the little bit that I put on my nose, I can still see a couple of dark marks. So medium coverage is definitely what it's giving. I want to hurry up and add, I'm adding a little bit more just to build that coverage up on my nose. Um, I think it's semi-buildable. No. Like, let me show y'all what I look like. Yeah, it's definitely too dark. But that's okay, that's okay. Cause we're gonna finesse. 
and we're gonna make it happen, we're gonna make it work. Okay, we're gonna make it work. <laughs> While the, the um, concealer is like semi drying down, I do want to give you guys a close up look at the finish. The finish is actually gorgeous. It's literally like skin. All right, so the face is on and done. We did, we did our thing. We did our thing. I did it. It is 4.53 p.m. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple things around the house. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to come back in a couple hours, maybe nothing less than six hours. So if it's five o'clock right now, 11 probably, and give y'all the final verdict. Okay, it is... 11.01 p.m. and I was trying to, you know, plug this thing out to midnight. Y'all, I'm tired, okay? I'm tired, the wig tired. We ready to go to bed. I'm ready to take this wig off, take this makeup off, and just get this over with. So, what do I think after all these hours of wear? I think it's maybe six hours of wear. I'm not sure. I think I'll finish at five. It's 11, so maybe six hours. Um, so the highlights are, it is a liquid formula. It's a natural finish. It's waterproof, which I did not test. Um, it's long wearing, has a medium coverage, and it's best for oily combo or normal skin. Now, the finish is natural. Yes, we saw that earlier. It gave a nice skin-like finish. Very pretty, like it. Waterproof, don't know about that because I did not test that. Long wearing, mm, no. It's not long wearing because I'm cracking up my last lines here. And if y'all see my previous uh, foundation review, that foundation I did not crack on my last line, not like this. Two, um, we're starting to break up around the nose. I'm not sure if you guys can see that clearly, but we're starting to break up around the nose. We got a little bit of separation going on around the mouth area. Um, so it's not long wearing. Um, and I will say that it's probably because I have oily skin. So the claim that it is best for oily and combo normal skin, mm -mm, honey, this is breaking down. It's breaking down. Um, maybe if you're wearing it for, you know, two hours, it'd probably be good, but long wearing, mm -mm. undetectable liquid foundation that blurs and covers imperfections for up to 24 hours. I've already said that that was a no because I'm talking about, you know, my dark, my hair. We can see that. Um, so it does not cover imperfections for up to 24 hours. That was unbelievable, period. But maybe if you have normal or dry skin, maybe that'll work for you. But for the oily girls, no. So if you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. My handle will be somewhere down on the screen. It is the same thing for TikTok. Be sure to check me out on those platforms as well. See y'all in my next video. Peace.